On this episode of Extreme Reloading, we're taking a look at Hornady Premium Brass. Now I needed to get some new brass for my 338 Win Mag, and I looked at Lapua. I really like that brass, as you know. Very much like Norma and Nosler. Now my choices for a 338 Win Mag were a little bit limited. I've used Winchester brass, I've used Remington, a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't really consider that a premium brass, and really, I have never considered Hornady a premium brass either. But my choices at the time were either Nosler or Hornady. I've got some Nosler here that I've been loading for years. It's good stuff. But uh, the price point on Nosler brass right now is really, really high. So I decided to give this a try. And what I'd like to do today is to evaluate this. Kind of a first impressions. How good is this brass? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple of very, very quick tests to determine kind of the quality and consistency of this brass. I'm going to measure each of the cases. And if I've got cases in brand new brass that need to be trimmed, kind of an indication that uh, the uniformity of this brass or of that brass uh, is really not very good. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh each of those cases. Now I've weighed other 338 Win Mag cases. Winchester Western, for example, varies almost 2%. So let's see how this goes. Some nice looking brass. Doesn't show annealing at the shoulder. That doesn't mean it's not annealed. What that means is that even if it is annealed, they could have polished it. So that doesn't mean anything really to me. 338 Win Mag, sample number one, looks just fine. Now I haven't resized these, and I am going to resize these. But right out of the box, I'm just looking to see if any of these pieces of brass need trimming. So there's 50 cases here. I'm going to test all 50. And we'll see how we then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I just completed our tests on this Hornady Premium Brass 338 Winchester and I had a chance to run the statistics that I'm showing uh, below on this screen. My first impressions are that this is you know pretty good brass. Um, the overall length test, every one of these pieces fit within SAMI specs. I did notice as I was sliding those cases into the gauge that uh, there was a little bit of variation, a fair amount of variation in those. None of those exceeded maximum length for uh, SAMI specs, but there was some that had a little bit of light, a fair amount of light showing between them uh, and the top of the gauge. So we'll bear that in mind as we evaluate these. I also weighed every one of these cases and looked at percent variation. Now the Winchester Western brass that I looked at a while ago uh, had a percent variation between those 20 cases, percent variation of 2%. Here the Hornady Premium 50 cases also had 2% variation. Now contrast that to the Lapua 243 Winchester brass that you may have seen us uh, working with on other episodes, earlier episodes of Extreme Reloading. I tested 100 pieces of brass there and only had a 1% variation in the, uh, the case weights. Now I use percent variation because that allows me to compare cases of all different sizes between the big 338 Win Mags to the 243 Winchester all the way down to a 556. Looking at percent variation gives us a pretty good feel for the consistency of that brass. I also looked at the standard deviations. Now this Hornady Premium has a slightly lower standard deviation among all these pieces of brass compared to the Winchester Western 338 brass and that's good. Because here I'm testing 50 pieces of brass, and in previously the Winchester Western stuff, um, I tested 20 pieces. So this having a lower standard deviation is a sign that it's a little bit more consistent brass. 
I did notice out of the box that some of these case mouths have been dinged up. Now, I don't know that I can blame Hornady for that, um, but I got a little bit of work to do to get these all um, back into perfect condition. First impressions, overall, this is pretty good brass. Uh, I would say it's a notch above the standard fare Remington Winchester stuff. It's not the ultra premium. If you're looking for that, stick with Norma, Nosler, and Lapua. That stuff's top notch. Thanks for watching another episode of Extreme Reloaded.